assalamu alaikum today we will be doing examples of chapter 7 from the book avr microcontrollers and we'll uh, simulate all the examples or at least the examples that are available in the simulation software proteus let's start <coughs> So let's make a new project from the scratch. Let's name the project as chapter seven one one. Uh, choose an appropriate location <coughs> for the project. Okay, so the location is okay. Next, create firmware for the project, <coughs> and uh, we'll select the Arduino AVR Proteus compiler. Uh, we can opt choose the different compilers if you have. AVR Studio, Atmel Studio, we can choose that compiler as well. This is a basic skeleton code. Let's run a simple code here. Okay. So we'll go to the website it is arcelland.com and we'll see the examples of chapter number seven source codes let's run this first example so we'll take the header file here and uh, attach the file Here and uh, then take the code. So we'll make uh, <coughs> a function that we can call. Let's say void e1 e7 1. Then we'll have the code here. So this code basically runs a simple port, makes a port B an output port, and then displays the value uh, one by one. We'll call this loop in the main loop. This is like the super loop. You can call this a super loop. which will run forever this is basically something that is widely used in embed systems and uh, we can omit this line because uh, this loop is going to be called again and again and if we want want it to run for one time only we can just uncomment this line let's compile the code and if there are errors okay uh, we'll see and if there are no errors we'll run the program so compile successfully <coughs> great the code is already burned into this uh, microcontroller and if you are using um, uh, any other compiler, uh, there will be a different configuration to upload the file. This is for uh, when compiler, we are using the built-in compiler of Proteus. Let's run this code. And you'll see port B is toggling at a very high speed and it will go from uh, 0 to 255 and show these values
let's debug run simulations and then now we can do a step by step thing and uh, we can also attach a breakpoint here where we want to see the individual values of the code So if you want to see the values here, you can add different variables and see the values are changing step by step. At each point, the value of uh, port B basically changes see the value of port B, all the resistors are basically shown here this is 20, this is port T this is the value of port B at every iteration this value is going to change you can choose to see this value in different style so this value basically changes at each step can also see the disassembly of the code this is the code that this uh, uh, Proteus has generated from the C code and uh, you can see you can register level moments of the data you can also see different registers like CPU registers So CPU registers are shown here, R24, and this is the instruction decoder instruction, and these are the registers that are used in this program. The values of the registers can be seen uh, changing in the appropriate registers. So Proteus is a very powerful tool. You can attach different components with it and see the register level movements as well. You can see R24 value here is changing and you can see different values of this moment. You can attack different LEDs here, seven segments according to your application application and according to your use. So we'll uh, simulate uh, other examples of chapter number seven like this runs the code from 0, 0 to ff in decimal this is going to mean from 0 to 255 so um, in the code see that the main header file is declared and uh, then main function is called and then we design uh, take the variable unsigned char z because char z is an 8-bit variable and unsigned will mean that it will range from 0 to 255 then we set our output port and as uh, 0xff ddrb if we opt to choose any other port like port c port d we can change this thing like ddrb ddrc ddrt but in this case our block diagram is basically using port b so uh, the block diagram of this thing is like we are using port B which is basically an 8-bit output port so this is the block diagram of this code you can use this block diagram to tell what is the hardware configuration block diagram usually shows the hard hardware configurations in a high level 
So for z is equal to 0, z is less than 255, c plus plus, and then port b is going to show this value of z in the form of binary. So when we ever, uh, whenever we see this value change, basically this is the binary value that is changing on every aspect. So you can see this code, if you want to uh, run this code continuously, you can just go and run snow breakpoints. This is changing. And uh, let's say uh, we want to add a delay to it. Let's see. Because uh, this is using the Arduino IDE and we are simulating the codes uh, we can use these commands like delay in order to use the delay command in AVS uh, Atmel Studio you will use the appropriate header file now let's see how it works now you can you will uh, see the binary code generated here run simulation and no breakpoints see I think we need to compile the code again this will any changes we need to recompile the code so if there are any errors we can know th about the errors and then change our program accordingly it's very important that we understand what type of errors are coming because they help us make our program runnable there are two types of error one is the syntax error which is easy to identify because it will not allow your program to run and the other one is, is a little bit trickier and that is basically the logical error so let's see if our new change has been incorporated in the design no breakpoints so this change is not incorporating let me see why So the change here is basically this code needs to incorporate the delay after each iteration of the loop. So I've added this delay underscore 100 here rather than here because in that scenario all the program is running and then it's going to the bigger delay. So I want this delay to be here so that I can see the values of port B changing. So let's execute this program. If this program works successfully you will see the values changing so this is 0 now it's going to be binary 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 0 0 0 8 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 10 1 0 one 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 zero zero C D E F and this program will go all up to the value of FF which is going to be one 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 which means red lights are going to be on and then this loop is going to start again from zero zero so you can see uh, this program shows the hex values or the binary values uh, directly on the IO port we can attach the LEDs to it and see what happens let me attach a LED to it LED attach an LED any anim animated LED should work let's see okay green LED And then that 
attach a ground to it. In simulation LEDs can be run directly but in practical life we need to add a resistor to it so that we can limit the current. Let's see if this model is working. No breakpoints. So this is working. So if this LED runs at very high speed, you will not be able to see it running properly. Um, because this is a simulation, it's not corresponding to real time delays. Let me finish this delay and you'll see it will blink at a higher rate. So you can see uh, this LED it seems like neither off nor on. Uh, but it is in a dimming state because this is a frequency that is running this thing, this model and that's why it's not uh, completely or on or off. So this is frequency. To see the frequency um, we can use the oscilloscopes or logic analyzers. This will show the frequency. Let's see if this uh, can simulate this thing. Sometime it happens that uh, real-time simulation is not possible due to the computational power of the PC because this program is being uh, simulated on the environment. But we can see the end result. Okay, no breakpoints. You can see this frequency here. You can adjust the timings so this is the frequency that is coming here at this frequency um, this signal is being related so in this way we can uh, see the waveforms and uh, try to understand the link with the code. Now let's try an other example. In this example, we'll try to interface a basic button, like in this format, it's a block diagram, and then do some work with it. So for this, we'll uh, see example 7-14. And in this example, um, write an AVRC program to monitor uh, bit 5 or port C. If it's high, send 0xF55 to port B. Otherwise, send 0xAA. So we'll include the header files, declare the output ports. Like in this case, we are using DDRB as output port. DDRD is not use directly here so and ddrc let's say we uh, declare this as input port then we do a while one loop and then read the pin c register which is the input port from port c and make a mask now the mask ensures that we are reading the fifth bit zero one two three for fifth bit from the zero and this is in general the sixth bit but uh, counting from zero this is the fifth bit so if uh, this port b uh, input port c is going to be compared with this uh, mask and only the value that is related on the uh, this position uh, will be compared uh, with an and operation and if the result is logical 1, then the corresponding uh, command will be executed. So let's run this code and see what happens. So we'll go to our source code and then add chapter number 
14 example here this this is the example get this thing and white e7 underscore 14 and then this is the code here so let's call this example in the main code want to see and test each and every program so we'll call these thing these uh, programs one by one let's see if any error comes technically speaking uh, we are not using DDRD here, port D is not used. So we can choose to delete this line. So let's okay, make this line commented. And now we need to put the corresponding displays and input buttons here. So let's say this button is here. We need to add a push button. Let's add the push button here. Go to P. Right push. This button will come. Let's see. Ah, yes. Bring the resistor. Standard resistor. Make the orientation right. connect these two points need to add a ground and also need to add power to this resistor make this thing a little bit neat So uh, we'll add uh, attach this port because this is the fifth port to this point. Let's see if we power up what happens. Not need the oscilloscope now. We'll close this oscilloscope here. See if it our input is coming. There is some issue with the input. Let's see what the issue is. Make this value like three hundred. Now let's see. So we have attached the system and uh, we need to make sure our value is passing at the appropriate pin. This is the way we debug our uh, practical system as well. We need to ensure that the signal that we are expecting at a particular input port or from an output port is coming as expected so uh, let's open the code this is the code 
this for the original code we can use uh, like the simplest version first so if pin c you can see if pin c is basically uh, this is the register pin c register input register from port c is basically read and this is compared with a um, uh, mask register uh, on the mask register we are basically uh, taking the sixth bit and we are comparing that sixth bit with the pin c register all air all other uh, values become zero because we are doing an and operation and this and operation will ensure that only this one uh, corresponding bit is compared and both results will give a logical zero or a one at the output so um, by uh, doing this comparison we'll get a logical one or a logical zero if that logical zero is equal equal to that zero this statement is going to be true and this line is going to be executed uh, if this comparison is false this else body is going to be executed i've uh, done a little change in the code so that the clear is uh, the change is clear so uh, original code was basically uh, like this thing first i will run this simple code and uh, i have made a little change like 0x00 so that uh, you can uh, make the difference easily <laughs> so let's run the code and uh, also see the values here So because this comparison is not making this value now we'll change this value to permanent zero and now the code flow is going to change this means that this uh, result is giving a zero pin c bit fifth when compared to this one gives one and one equal to zero which uh, makes this whole logical conclusion true and we can see that the zero is applied here so if we change this to let's say one now we'll execute now this and execute it can see the change is now visible this is high and now when you execute this goes to the else part because when this pin c pin uh, 6 is compared with this one uh, the answer becomes one the whole logical answer of this statement in the bracket becomes one one equal equal to zero which becomes false and this goes into this part of the body if I execute the original lines of the code, let me comment this modification that I did just for the sake of understanding. Uh, I can run this thing. So now we are doing a different thing if it's high it's going it this way let me make it a permanent zero uh, this change will not be immediate because this is running step by step it's now zero port can say the code flow is now changed so you can uh, see these things and uh, test them in the code and uh, I'm attaching the file as well you can see the register level values 
in the simulation as well. You can see I have added these ports and pins here. You can just go to the um, AVR variables. And you can add these things from the watch window. This is the value of the port. And make run this thing. And you can see the change. This is the port wise change on the 8 bit, and this is these are the changes that are done on the individual bit levels. And if I want to see the input change on port C5, whenever I press this button, you can see the change happening on pin C5. This is the change. This is happening. This is one. The value which is read is clear here. So you can uh, do these type of uh, simulations and test the codes. Um, all the codes that are available on this uh, website so that uh, you clear your concept and uh, if you have any queries do let me know I'll be happy to reply thank you very much Allah Hafiz